Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Factory. Hope everyone is doing well. In the previous video, we have seen how to install Qt and open source widget toolkit. Uh, now that we will see how to create a new project in Qt. Do not skip, watch the full video. On your windows, click on start and search for Qt creator. This is how the Qt window looks. We have options called new project and open project. Open project is to open the already saved or the existing projects and new project is to create a new one for you. So either you can click on file, new project and open on new project. As you see, there are a few types of applications listed under the application tab like the Qt widgets application, Qt console application or Qt quick applications or the Qt 3D applications for 3D uh, applications like that. Similarly, under the library tab, we have four such options serving different different purposes. This Qt creator plugin is used for VLL creations. Now at first we will look into the Qt widgets application. So select the option and click on choose. In the next window, give your project name and choose the path where you want the project to be saved and click on next. In this window, it shows you the class information. By default, class name and the base class details are all populated. This class name will be referred throughout your program. If needed, you can change it as required and click on next. In this window, you can just click on finish. Once you click on finish, your program wizard appears with a generic code. This exact one is a project file, is a project we created. As you see, uh, the program file, header file and the sources and forms are created by default. This exap1.pro is our project file. Under the enders, uh, the default main window header file is created. Under sources, two CP files, CPP, that is a C++ files are created. As informed in the very first video, Qt is built in C++, thus the source file created here are in C++ extensions by default. Again, kindly make sure that you improve your knowledge on C++ to export more and more in Qt. Under forms is a main window.ui which is created by default. It is an GUI to view the output of your program. So let's look into all of these options one by one. This project file uh, as a project related information like the project name and the default files that are created to support the project. This will inform the Qt that a project has been created with so and so details. No change is required here. And next is the header file. It contains a class information and the public and private variables are declared here. Next is a main.cpp under the source file. Here is where the main function is defined to create an application and show or display the same as our UI window. In the second line, an object W is created for the class main window. And in the next line, the object W which was created for class main window is used to show UI. So it is through this object, the output or the UI for every form you develop or design will be shown on the display. So for every program we code, there must be a main function. This is the main function which is called first, after which the class member functions we define will be called one by one. Next is a main window.cpp. Here you can see the constructor and the destructors created for the class main function. So here is where we will code the other required conditions for our form. So next let's have a look at the form. This form is called as a Qt designer where we can design our UI as we require. We have the necessary tools at the left hand side to design our UI. We can dra uh, drag and drop each of the tools and use them. There are many tools like the push button, a radio button, text label etc. I will explain all of these tools and how to use them in detail in the upcoming videos. And one more, towards the left side bottom corner, we could see three different buttons, two arrow like buttons and one armor like button, right? The last button or the armor like button is for build, that is to save your UI you built for your project. You can see the progress at the right hand side bottom corner of the build. Once it is built, you can draw it to view how your UI looks. 
else uh, use your keyboard shortcuts for build it is ctrl v and for run it is ctrl r c this is how your ui looks once you run it after the build this is just for an example to show an overall view of using all the tools and build and one options in the upcoming videos we will develop actual projects and explore more on qt not only on qt we have more videos on 8051 and other embedded related applications so continue watching our videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you guys